Today, we're going to talk a little bit about podcasting. Hi, Taylor here with Financial Potion, where video is your financial potion. And to never miss out on a video, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and then click on the bell to get notified every Friday at 5 p.m. Arizona time that a new video has been posted. For one-to-one -one training or just to support our content, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. So video truly is the best way to communicate and educate people. And utilizing podcasts as long-form content is still extremely popular, but don't just do the audio. I know I've spoke about this before. Even Spotify has started to allow you to upload video. And so if you are currently doing a podcast and not using video, it's about time. And if you're curious about if you should start a podcast or show, here are some facts that may help you make that decision. There is true profitability in podcasts. You build a more loyal audience and it increases brand awareness. By adding podcasts to your existing marketing strategy, it can increase the trust levels from 45 to 63%. Trust is so important. People only want to do business with people they know, like, and trust and would possibly even hang out with. And what's a better way to really show off your personality and how you are with people than through a long form podcast structure? And 50% of the listeners are more likely to buy from a brand after hearing an ad on a podcast. And so think about who may want to connect with your target audience. And those particular industries will be willing to pay to have an ad on your podcast. 55% of all business owners and founders listen to a podcast daily. I didn't finish the podcast, but I surely did listen to a bit of a podcast this morning on my way uh, back home from dropping off kids from school. And so how about you? Leave a comment. Are you someone who listens to a podcast at least once a day? And then in 2025, marketers are expected to spend $2.74 on podcast ads because they know that Listeners are 50% more likely to buy a product that has been mentioned uh, in a podcast ad. And so podcasts are definitely very much alive. 82.4% <laughs> of podcast listeners will spend more than seven hours a week listening. So that's about an hour a day. That sounds quite accurate. And the average listener will listen to nine different podcasts a week. So if you're concerned that the market is already saturated, that people already have their favorite podcasts, as long as you have your own unique aspect or your own creative edge, or you're just great to listen to, you have a chance. You have a great chance to become one of the podcasts that people will want to listen to on a regular basis. And the average listener, like I said, will listen to about nine different podcasts. Why not make yours one of them? And then 74% of podcast listeners turn in to learn new things. So if you are in the beginning stages of wanting to do a podcast, but not sure if it's worth it, first of all, do you have content that's worth sharing? Do you have information that people would like to listen to? Then sounds like you should give podcasts a try. You just wanna make sure that you're getting quality video as well as quality audio and that you're getting it across those correct platforms with the right descriptions, the right SEO attached, and even creating a podcast web page. If you want help with this, we are here to help. If you're in Mesa, Arizona, you can come to our studio and we'll record for you. Or if you're outside of the state, we have virtual producing opportunities to help you be successful. So reach out to us. Let's have a deeper conversation about what would make your podcast unique.